Welcome to the second edition of Future Minerals Forum. The clock is ticking and now is the time to act. Join us in providing the solution. Minerals will grant us our future. Together, we have a stronger voice when decisions about our future are made. The challenge these changes pose on our generation and generations to come. One of the things that we must do quickly is to make a plan on how we get these minerals out of the ground. To be able to make a difference through metals and minerals to food security. The world needs to move towards net zero. Recycle, reuse, create the loop. So I would urge the conference to come up with a framework, to come up with a mechanism. Together, we can shape the future of mining and minerals. Together, we can chart a course towards a future that is green and equitable. For the next two days, Riyadh will be the center of global mining industry. Critical issues of our time is this gap. The kingdom has brought all of the necessary enablers together. We have the energy solution. We have the location, as I mentioned. We have the finance. We have best-in-class regulations across the board. Saudi Arabia is very well placed in that regard to, to be a catalyst. The country's on the move, the company as the third pillar is on the move, um, collaboration is absolutely required, and we are definitely open for business. And I'm really very impressed for uh, this event. We also need to focus not just on the mining side, but also on the mineral processing side. I think the biggest mistake governments and policymakers make is thinking about windfall tax. Saudi Arabia is an exciting place. Um, with a very young population, we're finding excellent, excellent staff. We have no hope of engendering that tr transition without the stability of the energy provided by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, the urgency with which those minerals need to be invested in and brought to, to market. The profitability, we made sure the fiscal part of, of our mining investment law is the lowest in the world. It's only 25% at a cap of the net profits. To have a leader in the name of his, the king himself, and of course, the leader of the Vision 2030, if we are anguishing trying to achieve these goals, he's more anguishing and more adamant to achieve these goals. Together, Madan and PIF will build Saudi Arabia into a key international ally in bringing resilience to global value chains and helping secure the world's energy transition. We currently enjoy a very strong infrastructure in Saudi Arabia. Kingdom has an incredible opportunity to utilize their existing oil infrastructure to extract lithium from their oil well brines. I think that's important for the for the mining developments to go faster. To bring women into the mining sector because the skill set, it's there. Absolute leaders uh, in women in mining, uh, gender diversity, equity and inclusiveness in Australia.
more people recognize Saudi uh, leadership in uh, energy generally, uh, but also important uh, leadership in bringing minds to think about green energy. The size and scale of this future mineral forum, I think, really demonstrates this, that this is where the future will be.